start with, what can you tease about the show? Fans are gonna get to see in the next few weeks. Well, <laughs> there's gonna be uh, a ghost. A real one. A real ghost. Um, there's gonna be plenty of classic Nancy Drew Easter eggs, but completely new stories. Um, there's gonna be romance and adventure and suspense and thrills and a lot of grounded human emotion also. And I think you're gonna see the formation of the kind of superhero team that will become the Drew crew, but when we meet them, they don't really know each other, don't necessarily like each other, and they all are coming from very different kind of walks of life and experiences, and it was important to us to create characters who were folks you would actually know, maybe folks you've been, but also folks who have a ways to go in their personal evolution from kind of like, I had this obstacle or I had this setback and I'm not where I want to be right now and how does my brokenness make me part of this community? Why, why did you decide to take this uh, supernatural take on Nancy Drew? Ah. Um, well, I, I, had, I grew up reading Nancy Drew books and always kind of seeing that there was a hint of the supernatural in them, whether it's the, we think there's a ghost in the walls, or we think that there's you know a demon haunting a well, or a mask is haunted, and then of course it always turns out to be like no, it's just a weird mask, and there was just like nothing in the well. Like it's always just sort of an analog solution that Nancy figures out, and I just thought, well, what if it's not? Like what if there's actually a ghost? And took it from there. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with all the different iterations in Nancy, uh, what, what is the one thing we can try to do to stand up? And uh, I would say actually we made Nancy a teenager, you know, for one thing. It's kind of like some of the yeah. other iterations tried to make her a little more grown up than she is in the books. But we made her a very imperfect teenager, and for some of the iterations also made her kind of like she's got it all together and things always work out. And I think it's fascinating that we started Nancy in this place where she's just kind of like, this is still the opposite of where I wanted to be at this moment in my life, and I'm just like maintaining and just trying to get through this year. And then her life becomes about the things that happen to her because she's getting through that, I think, is going to be really important. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of teenagers feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you feel like teenage detectives are the, maybe the new superheroes? Because we've got Veronica <laughs> Mars, we've got Betty Cooper from Riverdale, now we've yeah. got Nancy Drew. Are these the new character that every girl is going to want to be? I mean, that would be amazing. I hope so. I have to say though, like, if you really look at it, Sorry. Nancy Drew actually is the OG female yeah, detective. Like, there is no Veronica Mars without Nancy Drew. There's also no Betty Cooper being called yeah. Nancy Drew without Nancy Drew. But I love that idea that that these are our new female superheroes because everything they do is so like grounded in the real world. They have to get creative. They have to MacGyver solutions for themselves. They don't have a police force behind them. And I think that's so, like, yeah, and a lot inspirational. Of when Nancy gets information from people she's talking to, she has to do it through being sensitive to them. Yeah. Being, yeah. Like, connecting with them. Instead of, you know, using force. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, intimidating answers, like a, a cop in an interrogation room, because that's not her role. She's more like, let's talk about what we have in common. Let's talk about the justice we're trying to get. And how can we reach each other? And because of that, I think it was important to give Nancy a real complicated backstory that she's just lost her mother, that she is an emotionally complex human being, and that's how she's emotionally intelligent and able to get people talking. Yeah. And she makes mistakes also. I mean, oh, yeah. She lets people down and she goes the wrong way and she disappoints herself sometimes. I think that's also important. So have you opted for the sort of the case of the week format with the other storyline sort of overarching? Or is it sort of like a season long and why did you go whichever yeah. way you went? It's season long with a lot of mini mysteries nested with inside that. So sometimes there's a standalone mystery that begins and ends in one episode, but it's all linked up into the main season long story. The reason why we did that is I think that's how people consume stories nowadays. Like it's so much fun to binge watch and something that's special about our show is um, all the episodes will be available on the CW app, so you can just sit there and binge the whole thing whenever you want. And there are things that definitely lead right into one or the other, and we'll be like, oh, I saw that in the last episode, and now I see how it plays out in this episode, or I saw it two episodes ago, and now I get why they set it up like that. But it's also, you can drop in and feel like I had a bedtime story. Like, I've never watched an interview before, but I instantly understand she's accused of murder, this other thing went wrong, this is the mission this week, oh, they got it done, but this other thing happened. 
I know. I have to keep watching. <laughs> Last question, please. We have an order for 13 now. We are, you know, hopeful of more after that, but that's not for us to say. But, you know, we plan for lots of different things. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> are you are you thinking of a Nancy verse? Or, or, I don't know what you're, where where well, other childhood Michigan classics? Are. Yes, well, <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> we shall see what happens. Yeah. But yeah. yes, there are certainly more characters exactly. out there waiting our, to. Our ambitions say yes, and our you know legal coverage <laughs> says not yet. <laughs> but we would love that. You know. yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.